So, Chapter 5, Season 3, Wrecked has officially come to an end. I mean, not yet, but we got the last update, so it's basically over. I don't think it's controversial to say that this season is, well, controversial. However, I do know it's controversial to say that this season was good. Matter of fact, it's controversial to say this season is peak, which I'm here to say. Now, do I think this is the greatest season of all time? No, of course not. I don't think it's the greatest season of all time. However, I'd personally put it in my top 10. In fact, if I had to pick, I'd probably put it at number 6. Now, before you get your torches and pitchforks and start marching towards my house, let me just specify this by saying I did love this season. This isn't rage bait. I genuinely had an amazing time on this season. And by the end of this video, I hope you can not only understand why I like it, but I will also tell you why you, yes you, will end up missing this season. I'm gonna go through each update we had during this season, talk about everything that was added, and then at the end I'm gonna give the season a rating out of 10. Without further ado, let's get right into the season's launch, and this season launched. It, it launched. Now, I had a blast on this season's launch, and I loved the cars, I loved the nitro, I loved the fists, I loved the desert biome, I loved everything about it, and the other side of people hated everything about it. Like, seriously, there was no in-between. You could not be mid on this season. You could say you loved it, it was the greatest season of all time, or this was the worst season of all time. Now, I will be the first here to admit, the cars, when they first came, keyword, when they first came, were insanely broken, and as much as I was having fun with them, they had to be nerfed. So did the Nitro and also the Fists. Everything really just had to be nerfed, and I could tell this was just Epic Games experimenting, seeing, okay, we're gonna make these things absolutely busted and see how everyone reacts. And that's another thing that I wanted to say about this season is everyone just immediately jumped to conclusions and said that Epic didn't care about the community because they didn't nerf the cars right away. Which I'm here to say is Epic Games nerfs items very, very quickly. In terms of other games, if something is overpowered, there's a chance that it stays in the game without a nerf. If this item is overpowered, it will take at max six months to fix. But in Fortnite, they will patch it within a week. And that is just insane when you really think about it. But when people just were complaining on Twitter, they were acting like Epic Games wasn't going to nerf the fists or nerf the cars. They 100% were, you just had to give them a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, needless to say, when the season launched, we got a crap ton of content. We got the cars, nitro, and fists, which completely changed up the gameplay and i know people always say that when a new season launches but this is truly possibly just the biggest gameplay change we've had in a while we also got the boom bolt which was pretty cool the unvault of the combat ar which actually didn't come later it was just in the form of a mythic but we got the unvault of the combat shotgun that was pretty tight not to mention the pois redline rig brutal beachhead nitro dome nitro nitro dome Drome? It's called Nitro Drome? Why am I only just now learning this? But yeah, needless to say, this season launched with a lot of content, and it was only gonna get crazier with the Metallica update. To start off, the Metallica update brought a whole new festival season and a whole new game mode for festival, Battle Stage, which you could essentially just fight against other players. You basically, you could shoot fireballs at each other. It was really cool. It's super fun. If you haven't played it yet, go do it. But that's not mentioning the BR stuff because it gave us a new item called Ride the Lightning. I don't know why they didn't just call it the Metallica guitar or something but still it was amazing you could use it to just fly around through the air zip zap all the, over the place it was awesome we also had a new metallica spawn island which didn't really do anything it was just spawn island but cool we also got a metallica track in rocket racing and i am not a fan of rocket racing at all but that track was amazing not to mention the fact we got a whole live event. Granted, it was a UEFN concert, but it was still amazing. I love that event so much. I don't know why more people don't talk about it. Um, um, because it was made by Tim Sweeney, and Tim Sweeney wants to put his stupid metaverse into the- Shut your s- Uh, next update, they, uh, added the OG map back. Just casually, like, they announced it literally one day before the update happened, but, like, it was nothing. Okay, I mean, it wasn't technically the full OG map, it was a brand new mode called Reload. 
which was essentially a remixed version of the chapter one map, throwing in a bunch of weapons from a bunch of different chapters and calling it reload. Basically, if you die, you have 30 seconds before you respawn back as a squad. They ended up adding duos later down the line, but for now it was just squads. And this was a crazy new thing when it happened, so much so that when it first launched, it pulled nearly 2 million players on just builds alone. And I also want to say this, uh, just because the player counts are low on BR with only 300,000 people, which by the way is still a lot of people, I don't know why people are calling BR dead because it only has 300,000 people, what are you saying? There's just more stuff to do now. If we tally up all of the people across all of the different modes, we have nearly 2 million people online not playing creative. There's just more stuff to do. There's more stuff for you to branch off into rather than just playing BR, and that's why there's less people. Regardless, Reload was a crazy update when it first happened because it came out of basically nowhere. Regardless, still a W update and adds on to more of the content that we already had. May I remind you, Fortnite added two new modes this season, which is just crazy. Next, we had a relatively small update with the Magneto Gauntlets, but these were really good to counter against cars because they did like 400 damage per hit. They were a perfect counter for cars. But the next update was crazy. It was the Pirates of the Caribbean update, which added the new ship in the bottle. It got a new POI, which we hadn't gotten since Chapter 3, Season 4. It's been a while since we've gotten a mid-season POI. We also got a new mini pass with Jack Sparrow, which was also super tight. This, once again, overall was just a huge W update. And then the final update of the season came with... F f f fall Guys, but... But, but, but where's FNAF? Tim Sweeney, you promised FNAF. Regardless, the Fall Guys update was still cool. It added a new, like, little mini game similar to the Mothership from Chapter 2 Season 7. You could run through a little obstacle course as a Fall Guys bean, and then at the end you would get some loot. It's not necessary to just win a game because you get some just okay loot, but it's still just a cool little mini game to do in game. We also got the return of the minigun, which was super tight. And as of recording this video, we're set to get a live event on Saturday, which is probably when this video is coming out so in the comments let me know how the live event was because uh, I, uh maybe it's tight maybe it's not who knows but yeah to answer this question yeah i think chapter five season three was genuinely amazing a top six season in my opinion the sheer amount of content that we got it was literally impossible for you to get bored of the game if you play for only like two hours a day, it is literally impossible to get bored of this game. There's something new being added basically every week. And I'm not talking about tiny little updates here and there. You know, we had a gun, we had a little, little map change right there. No, we're talking new POIs, whole loot pools of new weapons, new game mechanics, and even new game modes. And people are still calling this season bad because of a quote unquote lack of content. Sorry, but like, where is the lack? Cause I am seeing everything but a lack. Listen, it's understandable if you don't like some of the content that got added during this season, but don't say that this season is bad because we didn't have enough content. We had plenty of content. This season overall was just amazing. I loved it so much. Even when they nerfed the cars and everything, I was still having the time of my life playing this season. Go ahead, type your anger in the comments, leave a dislike on this video, I don't care. But, you know what? I'm not just going to glaze Epic Games, I'm gonna say some things that I did not like about this season. For one, I would say that uh, everything when it first came in was overpowered until they nerfed it, and then it became underpowered and no one used them. Okay, I take it back. Not underpowered, but a lot of people were still not using the cars or the fist as much because they were nerfed so hard. And once again, I thought the cars and the fist and all that had to be nerfed at some point, but to the extent that they did it, I don't think that was necessary. But overall, to me, this season was just good. Now, why did I say at the beginning of the video that you would miss this season? 
Well, it's because you're going to look back on this season and realize how good you had it. Because Epic maybe one day is just not going to add content anymore and they're going to keep their game nice and stale just the way you want it. You know, you want it to stay OG forever, right? And you're going to look back on this season and say, wow, Epic Games really cared about this. We gave a lot of content. It was genuinely a lot of content for us to mess around with. But overall, this season for me is going to get a 9.5 out of 10. I love this season so much. I don't think anything can change this ranking. But let me know what you guys want to say in the comments because I want to hear your opinions. I'm not going to be that kind of guy who's just like, my opinion is right, yours is wrong. I want to hear your opinion. Why do you not like this season? You probably have some really valid points, so just let me know. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.